After a bitterly cold Christmas weekend, the freeze thaw cycles, they can wreak havoc on the roads, creating those nasty potholes. According to AAA, in 2021 alone, damage caused by potholes cost the drivers a collective $26.5 billion. And this won't come as a surprise to Michiganders. A quote wizard survey found Michigan has the worst potholes in the country, followed by Indiana and Rhode Island. So will this late December warm up have the same impact we typically see in the spring? 7 Action News reporter Derek Cunningham is going in depth with state and local agencies with a look at what drivers can expect to see. I'm on Southfield Road near Mount Vernon, one of the surfaces the Oakland County Road Commission says it's keeping a close eye on as temperatures start to rise. I actually came out the gas station and the hole was covered up with water. And when I went in, it said boom, boom. And I was on my way to a mechanic after that. <laughs> he can laugh about it now, but a couple of years ago, Mario Huff says a pothole led to a broken axle, tie rod, and hub bearing, costing him upwards of $500 unexpectedly. Newer roads, we're not usually going to see them. It's the older roads that are in need of repair. As the weather prepares to rise above freezing late this week, MDOT spokeswoman Diane Cross explains whenever you have extreme differences in daytime and nighttime temperatures, you have a recipe for potholes. It's cold at night, so we have all that ice that expands. During the daytime, the warmer temperatures melt the snow and ice, and now more water gets into cracks, any kind of crack or crevice in the road. The nighttime freezes, it expands, it makes a bigger hole. New cavities in the road collapse under the weight of vehicular traffic, from state trunk lines to city and county roads. In Oakland County, the Road Commission says there will be some potholes. But senior communications manager Craig Bryson says it's not expected to be a huge problem because we've had a relatively mild fall. We didn't have a whole lot of real low temperatures, so the ground really hasn't frozen down as far as it usually would in, say, February when we get a February thaw and we have all kinds of potholes. Also, because of a mild fall, he says the county was able to get out to do some hot patching, which is a more long-term fix compared to the cold patch the county uses during the winter. Cold patch pops out more easily. With the coming rise in temperature, Bryson says paved roads are less of a concern right now. This kind of uh, temperature swing is real tough on the gravel roads as well. Uh, we're concerned that some of the gravel roads may turn to um, very soupy mud, and we could e even have some flooding on some of the gravel roads. Huff says he'll be extra vigilant in the coming days. You do got to watch the roads, and sometimes you still got to watch other people because people that try to avoid a pothole are, are run into you. So you definitely got to stay high alert. To report potholes on roads managed by MDOT, you can call 1-888-296-4546. To report potholes in other specific jurisdictions, you can find links at WXYZ.com. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.